Hey there, welcome to Rise Up Namobia. Thank you for joining me for part 3 of the topic of matrices. Now down below, we have the objectives, the lesson, and extra examples. Now without further ado, let's dive into the objectives. For this particular tutorial, we're going to be looking at matrix addition, matrix subtraction, and matrix scalar multiplication. Now that we are done with the objectives, let's take a look at the lesson. So get your pens and your notebooks ready. Now when we talk about addition and subtraction of matrices, two matrices, for example A and B, can be added or subtracted if and only if they are of the same order. Okay? So meaning the two matrices that you want to add or subtract should be of the same size or order. Okay? Now if they are of the same order, we only add or subtract the corresponding elements. So what do I mean by this? If you don't understand, don't worry. We will get into examples that will enlighten your understanding. Say for example, you are given the two matrices A and B over here. And you are asked to find A plus B. So what do you do? Now these two matrices are the same. A and B here. It's just that I wrote uh, the, matrix, the matrix B in a different color to make it easier to explain. Okay? So first you check. Are these two matrices of the same order? Now when we look at these two, yes, they are of the same order. Because they are both uh, 3 by 2 matrices. Okay? So since they are both of the same order, let's add the corresponding elements. So how do we do that? Let's start with 5 over here. What is 5's corresponding element? That will be negative 1. So we say 5 plus negative 1. And then 7 or negative 7 here. What is negative 7's corresponding element? That will be 5. And then 6 over here will be 4. 3, corresponding element is 2. 2, corresponding element is 1. 2 here, the corresponding element is 7. Okay? So from here we add 5 plus negative 1, that will give us 4. Negative 7 plus 5 will give us 2. 6 plus 4 will give us 10, 3 plus 2 will give us 5, 2 plus 1 will give us 3, 2 plus 7 will give us 9. And that is your final answer. Let's take a look at another example. Now how about when you are asked to subtract, which is find A minus B. The concept is the same. You always want to check your two matrices. Are they of the same order? If no, then you can't add or subtract them. But if yes, like for example in this case, they are of the same order, you subtract the corresponding elements. Okay? So let's start. Now the first element here is 5. What is 5's corresponding element? That would be negative 1. So we subtract negative 1. Then negative 7's corresponding element is what? Is 5. What is 6 corresponding element? That would be 4. And then 3. What is 3's corresponding element? That would be 2. What is 2's corresponding element? It's 1. And then the other 2's corresponding element is 7. From here we subtract, which is 5 minus negative 1, which will give us 6. Negative 7 minus 5 will give us negative 12. 6 minus 4 will give us 2, 3 minus 2 will give us 1, 2 minus 1 will give us 1, 2 minus 7 will give us negative 5. And that's your final answer. Okay? Now how about when you are given an equation? Okay? So this is an equation that involves uh, matrices. Because you have this first matrix, 
matrix plus this matrix is equals to this matrix. And then you are asked to find variables, which is find the values of A and B. So how do you deal with this one? First of all, let's start with A. Where do you see A in this equation? We see it over here, isn't it? Now what is the corresponding element of that 3A? We have 6, and then we have 12. Okay, so 12 is after the equal sign. Now this makes it easier for us because this is a simple linear equation that we can solve. So we know already that if we want 3a or we want to solve for a, we need 3a alone on one side, which means we subtract 6 on both sides, which will cancel out on the left. And then 12 minus 6 will give us 6. Okay. Now, since we have 3a is equal to 6, we are not looking for 3a, we want a alone, so we'll divide both sides by 3. So we can cancel it out on the left hand side and be left with a. Okay? So what is 6 divided by 3? That will be 2. And that's our final answer. So a is equal to 2. Okay? So how about b? Let's quickly clean up here. So for b, where do we see b in this equation? We see it over here. Now, what are the corresponding elements of that b? That will be here and there. Which makes it another simple linear equation of 7 plus 2b equals to negative 1. So, if we want to solve for b, we will need to have 2b alone on one side. So, we need to cancel out that 7. We can subtract 7 on both sides, which will cancel this 7 out on the left. And then negative 1 minus 7 equals to negative 8. Okay? So on the left hand side we'll be left with 2b. And on the right hand side we have negative 8. Now we are not looking for 2b, we are looking for b. So we have to divide both sides by 2 so it can cancel out on the left hand side. Okay? So what is our answer to b? b equals to negative 8 divided by 2 which will give us negative 4. And that's your final answer. Okay? Now, how about when you are given another equation that looks like this? So this one is A plus a matrix equals to another matrix over here. So how do you solve this one? Now, this one is also very easy. It's just like any other normal linear equation. Because here you have an A and you have a, a matrix here. Why not take this matrix to the other side where there is another matrix and have uh, something like like terms on one side, you know? So let's take this matrix to the other matrix and have the A alone, okay? So what will we be left with? We'll be left with A equals to this first matrix, which is this one, minus this matrix that moved to that side. Now, why did it become a negative sign in front here? Because it was a positive sign. Remember from linear equations, whenever you move a term over the equal sign, its sign changes. For example, this one was positive, this matrix. So when you move it to the other side, it became negative. Okay? The same would happen if this was a negative sign and you move it over the equal sign, it would be it will become a positive sign, okay? But in this case, it was a positive sign, so it became a what? A negative sign. So from here, it's easy. We simply just follow our rules from the previous slides, which I showed you, by subtracting the what? The corresponding elements, okay? So if you uh, subtract the corresponding elements, which is 6 minus 3 will give you 3, 3 minus 2 will give you this one, 7 minus 1 will give you 6, Negative 1 minus 0 will give you negative 1. And that's your final answer. Okay? Now, how about if you have another equation that looks like this? Now, this one has a matrix minus A equals to another matrix. Now, what do you do here? Now, this one is also very simple. But since we have a negative A over here, how about we made it positive? How can we make this A positive? We can make this A positive by taking it to the other side. 
okay now if we take it to the other side it will be this matrix plus a okay so we can as well leave the a alone this side and take this matrix to the left hand side as well so if we took a to the right and we took this matrix to the left what will be our equation looking like it will look something like this okay since the a was on the left hand side it was a negative a and we took it to the right hand side of the equal sign it becomes a what a positive a and then this matrix was a positive matrix but we took it to the left hand side of the equation so it became a negative matrix okay so from here is a simple linear equation again which we can solve using the rules here which we discussed earlier just by saying a equals to 2x minus now we remember we are subtracting the what the corresponding elements so 2x minus 4x will give you negative 2x 5x minus negative 5x will give you 10x and that's simply your final answer okay easy isn't it now how about when we talk about matrix scalar multiplication now with matrix scalar multiplication we always multiply each element in the matrix by the scalar what do i mean by this if you don't understand don't worry we will get into examples that will enlighten your understanding so for example you're given the matrix a over here and i ask you to find 2a what do you do you simply take the two which is our scalar and then the matrix A. Now you multiply everything within or all elements within that matrix by the scalar. Okay? In this case, our scalar is 2. So you multiply it within each and every element. So what will we get? 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times negative 7 will give us negative 14. 2 times 6 will give us 12. 2 times 2 will give us 4. And another 2 times 2 will give us another 4. And this is simply your final answer. So matrix scalar multiplication is quite easy. Okay, so here we have given A and B. So we have matric matrices A and B. And we are asked to find 3A plus 2B. So how do we do this? You take the 3. Now what is our matrix A? You write the matrix A there, plus, you take the 2. Now what is B? Our matrix B is this one. Now you multiply the scalars. Remember the scalar in this case will be this 3 and this 2. You multiply the scalars within each of the matrices. Okay? So if you multiply them out, what will you get? You will get this 2 matrices okay because 3 times 3 will give you 9 3 times 2 will give you 6 3 times 4 will give you 12 3 times 1 will give you 3 while on the other side 2 times 1 will give you 2 2 times 2 will give you 4 2 times 5 will give you 10 2 times 3 will give you 6 okay so from here we use again the since we have a plus sign here we use the corresponding elements to add these two matrices okay because they are of the same order so if we add the corresponding elements which will be 9 plus 2 and the rest here you will get this as a final answer okay so now that we are done with the lesson Let's take a look at some extra examples, which will involve the three topics or subtopics that we just discussed. Okay? So feel free to pause the video now.
thank you very much for joining us for this part of matrices and please do support our other social media platforms which is on facebook youtube and instagram which is at rise up namibia okay